All right, I welded everything up and it's ready to go. As you can see, I already have it somewhat installed. And if you look down in here, you can see that we welded a bicycle sprocket, or the three-speed hub sprocket right there. And we have the chain just sitting here in uh, electric mode. So it just runs around on the outside of that. I haven't installed the derailleur up here that'll throw it right back up onto the uh, sprocket. But we could save that for another video. Uh, I have two bolts in it right now because I only had two bolts that fit the same pattern, uh, the same threading as the uh, motor uh, gearbox that were long enough to go through the steel and go a good amount into the gearbox so we don't lose it. Uh, you see we have our standard bicycle sprocket on the outside. I'm only using two bolts on the outside, but I mean, you only need two. Um, as uh, Since I'm out here, you know, I'll show you this. And then the electric setup for it will come around to the other side. If you look here, we have the electric coming off the motor, and this bolt's nice and flat to the bottom of the frame. And I made the holes a little bit bigger up there just so I can adjust the motor around and get the chain just right. Uh, up here, we uh, put our control, and this is off, and we turn it on variable speed control. I'm going to try to work that into kind of like a throttle pedal with a spring return or something at a later time. And this is the same gear, I mean, the same electrical box that we were using on the friction drive electric bike. Because I did some double checking and made sure it can handle the amperage. And it can handle the amperage of this much larger motor, so... We have just tucked under the seat right there. And the wiring comes all the way back up here into the milk crate. And the milk crate will hold the batteries for now. Uh, I have this peg that comes out right here on each side and we're probably going to weld in or remove this peg and weld in something coming out from here because I want to bring, I have much larger batteries for this but when you put them up here it makes the frame really wobbly because it's got so much top weight and if we put them down here along this frame bar and just make, you know, like something that comes out here, something that comes out here, comes across the bottom right here and then we can make a structural support that'll come up and connect up here somewhere. And that'll put the weight like just at about the, uh, the axle of the rim. And it'll make it way less top heavy than it is because I'm a little worried sometimes when I'm going up a curb with those batteries in it that it'll fall off. Um, now for other modifications that I've done to the bike since I started working on it, you know, things don't go as planned, and sometimes you got to work around. Um, I made this seat because I have been trying to find, like, an old chair or something really nice that we can uh, cut the legs off of and use as a seat. And this is just two boards. It's got some two-inch upholstery foam on it. Um, our handlebars, uh, I haven't really changed much about the handlebars. Uh, I had the cables coming in hose clamped. Horrible idea, so I ran some bolts through it. It's a lot tighter now. Um, we have our back brakes hooked up, which just run back and out. Now the main thing that I did with the bike is when we constructed the front end, we had these rods down here on, I mean these, uh, yeah, these tie rods here, down here on this, and it was so far back from the pivot point when you turned, it they had the turning radius of a large truck. So uh, we scooted it further in, and now we have just enough room that if I stick my leg here and have the pedals back, I have just enough room that my foot clears the wheel on each side. And you can see how close it gets right there, about an inch or two. I can actually tighten this up and make it turn a little bit sharper if I need to. A uh, little advice tip here. Uh, these are great because you can set the tension on the cable and one side is reverse thread, one side is standard thread. I noticed since I, when, you, when I was pedaling I might bump this with my foot and it was making the cables loose after like half a mile. You know, I'd bump them once or twice and it would take enough tension out of it and start getting a really bad speed wobble. So what I did is you can see I ran a bolt here so when we get this to the right tension I can run this bolt up against it and keep it from moving around. And that has really tightened up the steering on the bike. 
as you can see, it's f until something like that happens. That is uh, kind of hilarious. But uh, now we're going to have to figure that out. I might have to go to the hardware store and get a, a bigger, stronger one of these or something, because I think I just stripped all that out in there. Um, I'll have to find something to take care of that. But so far, I mean, you know, there's still a little here and there things that we need to work on with it. Uh, kind of happy that didn't come off while I was writing it, because that would have been catastrophic. And I will come back with another video probably this week. Uh, not much going on. It's uh, the Easter weekend. And we'll make a better setup for the steering. You know, I'll probably find something a little stronger than these, but something I can still tension in and out. Um, since we have everything set up too, I'm going to run that bar on each side of this from there and over. That way I just have a little more rigidity. Uh, it seems fine the way it is. I mean, you know, I've been riding it around and I haven't had that many problems with it. If you look at the frame, like I can tip the frame and it's not flexing or bending. As long as I don't have those big batteries on the back, it, it does pretty well. Uh, I have the batteries, you know, they're just going up into this little box right here. I don't have them installed right now. They're inside charging. I have my hookups for positive and negative back here. Uh, the box is a milk crate for now. I think I'm gonna, as soon as I can find a toolbox that's just the right size to fit the batteries, uh, I might put it on the back there but uh, primarily, I, I want to have my batteries down here because of weight. And then if I have the big batteries down there, I can actually put the small batteries from the friction drive electric bike build up here, which will be a lot lighter than the other ones. And uh, probably get another like five miles of range out of it. And when I come back with the next video, after I've uh, fixed my steering issue that just uh, arose during this video, um, we will take it out and do a range test on the bike. All right, you guys have a good afternoon, good weekend, good week, whatever it is when you see this video.